Hello and welcome to a, a rather late uh, Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So, I've had a few sherbets tonight, as you do. Friday night, fucking hell. <clears throat> and uh, what have I done with the... Uh... Uh -huh. Right. So, I've had one of our um, commentate, um, commenters on Facebook asking... Do the peanut butter, and to be honest, I forgot all about the peanut butter. And uh, so, Boss Brewing got a peanut butter ale. Um, yep, a pale ale even, and it is what me four point five percent in strength, so it's not too strong. Probably a good thing because I've had a few sherbets tonight, as it were. You know. And, uh, it's been a long week at work and I've got to be honest and tonight I've had help and you know it's funny over the years I've you know amounted a good amount of good friends and uh, friends that know a lot more about me about certain issues than I do I don't p profess to know everything about everything God no you know I know a bit about gardening, you know, I know something about beer and a little bit about wine and uh, I know the odd bit about lager as well, yeah. yeah, and a bit about cider. But when it comes to a lot of things, I know fuck all and uh, I don't, you know, it's not something that I profess to know about. So, mm -hmm. golden to amber pour, white head. And uh, peanut butter on the nose. You can really smell it on the nose. It's quite weird, actually. It's uh, You expect peanut butter in a stout. You do not expect peanut butter in a pale ale. Which is what this is. It's by Boss Brewing. Part of Lidl's uh, Beer Festival. And uh, I need to drink this and go back in the house looking sober. I'm already struggling. So yeah, been given a bit of advice by friends tonight, and uh, for my issue at work, and uh, I'm very thankful for the friends. You know, whether I win or not, that's another thing. You know, I can, you know, there's no way of knowing. But one more try. So, you get the peanut butter on the nose, on the taste, you do get that peanut butter, but there's also a twang going down with it. A twang that I haven't got quite yet. I personally think it's, it also follows through that the peanut butter is in the twang and it's very different. Usually, you you get peanut butter in a stout, and um, the darkness quite complements it. You know, the dark, the roasty toastiness, the chocolate all complements. This is a very different beast. Um, and obviously, I've not read anything on the bottle, but I've had too much to drink anyway, so I won't be, won't be able to read it anyway. Nah, fucked it. Um, <clears throat> I've got to be honest, you know, you can't, you know, you can't win them all. It's getting late at night. I've had a few beers and, uh, you know, even at home I'm stressed up about work. It should not happen. And uh, it's not the, the stress that I'm stressed about going to work. It's the more the anger about how they're treating me. And you treat me wrong. And like most people, you, you know, treat me shit, I'm going to respond and I'm going to respond in a way that you're not going to like and these people are in for a storm or even a storm next week and me being me, I don't really want that I just want to go in do whatever bloody notice I need to give and get out. I'm not interested in the bullshit. 
But even tonight, um, I did a review earlier, spoke about issues, and after that review, they're telling, I'm being told, that the Health and Safety Act of 1974 says it's illegal, illegal, for you to charge for PPE. So, that is something I'm going to throw at these bastard faces on Monday. And, uh, I'm a nice person, I don't need, you know, I don't need to be going down the, you know, the shit route, but fuck's sakes, you know, there's only so much in life any of us can take. And uh, I do my work, I try and enjoy my work, I come away, you know, I want to live a normal life, I've got a family to support, don't want the stresses from work, do my work, come away. Don't need any more stresses. But obviously, I found a new job. I was always going to leave. It was inevitable. You know, I told them that before they took over. That you know, I'm not happy where I am. I'm, there's there's a possibility I'm gonna I'm gonna leave pretty quickly. And uh, you know, their rules and the way they were, and it's the way they've handled themselves. Especially the HR woman. She's obviously someone who's obviously a bitch. And uh, who needs to be dealt with. And uh, I'm in the stage now where I'm thinking. Okay, you push me into a corner. And I'm in a corner. And I'm being told that you've got to pay this. Okay. If I have to pay it, I'll pay it. But before I pay it. I'm going to give you the worst. Um. PR that you could ever experience because I'm going to go to the people that are essentially are your bosses not the person you deal with on a day to day basis who's the client manager no no no, no. I'm not going to him because he's, he's, there, he's a monkey I'm going to the bosses above him the people who actually are the bosses and I'm going to go to them and tell them everything I'm going to absolutely spill all the beans and uh, I don't want to do that route because that's not the person I am but if I'm pushed into a corner, I'm going down that route. And you should never have to do that. You should, you know, people should be amicable. I've been totally amicable the whole way through. Gave them, you know, told them from the start that, you know, because of the issues I've had at work over the last year, that I'm struggling. Um, mentally and emotionally and all that and I don't think I'm going to last you know I think I might need to walk away at a minute's notice you know and for them to be arseholes about it and not to have no consideration at all oh we stick to our rules our rules are this fuck you and anything you say these are our rules and you think to yourself okay okay put your rules in 2p which is a legal thing don't matter a shit your rules don't fucking apply and so we go from there oh you know when you only want an easy life just a nice life you do really don't need it luckily I'm going to a job where the, the man in charge seems great um, the job is fantastic there's obviously going to be issues along the way but I'm a nice person I do my work, you know, and people will see that, people will be nice, and uh, hopefully anyway, and, uh, you know, we'll all get on well. Um, I am the nicest of persons, but, you know, when you suffered a year, a year of shit, I'm not taking any more, and... Uh, if I have to come out fighting with every fucking uh, inch that I can muster, every inch of strength I can muster, I will do. And uh, it's as simple as that. But I don't want to. I want a peaceful life. And uh, obviously we're all going through our own issues in the world at the moment, you know. Um, issues in personal life, work life, um, and uh, you know it's all tough. 
and you can do it without it. I, I, I really have no strength for any more fights. But I'm not being pushed into a corner. I'm not letting someone get away with charging me for uniform when the law states that I can't be charged. So, who's in the fucking wrong? And if they win, they won't win. Because if they win and they charge me the money, they won't win. I'm a website, I'm an owner of a website, and I know how to manipulate the internet. I've done it for 20 years. And uh, you can make people look bad very easily, especially when it's the truth. And when all it's the truth, oh yes. And I know people, I, I've already sussed out, I've already done the background research, I already know all the internet emails I need to copy in and uh, you know it's going to be an interesting week. You hope that you're not pushed into a situation you don't want to be pushed into but if they come the arsehole then I reciprocate and you don't want to be pushed into that. There's no need for it in this world. So, peanut butter throughout, it's quite strange because it's a pale ale and peanut butter. I'm used to peanut butter in a stout. Uh, peanut butter on the nose, peanut butter on the aroma, and even though it was 4.5%, woof, I felt it, you know, really did. And the heat, you know, obviously at the moment with this bloody warm weather, uh, accentuates the strength it makes the strength seem stronger than what it is all because of the heat out of five 4.1 out of five whilst it was nice it um, didn't quite tickle the old raggy the raggy avenue as it were but still you know what it was, did what it said on the tin and or on the bottle rather, and uh, you can't go any further than that. And that's it for this beer review. I'm absolutely sweltering. It's warm. I've had a sh another stressful day. Can't wait till I'm away from the stress and away from idiot employers. Um, thanks for watching. As always, you know, stay safe. You know. Um, in different parts of this country, you're going abroad, you're coming back, you're having to self-isolate. People can't afford to self-isolate half the time. We all have to be, you know, still, and for the foreseeable future, being wise with our decisions. You know, e even my family, they've stopped coming home, spraying themselves, and it's a dangerous habit to get into. You need to be coming home, hand sanitising, spraying yourself with the, you know, whatever spray you've got for your own safety and for my safety and for my family's safety you know, we all need to do it um, as much as it seems like it's a load of bollocks but for the for the thousands that have died maybe a, peop a lot of these people would have died anyway you know, but they've died earlier than what, probably what they should have done and there's responsibility for all of us to take notice of, you know. And the worst thing is,